Cluster. I run On Device Research. Uh, on Device Research uses the mobile internet to collect consumer opinions. Uh, we now have offices in Singapore, London and Brighton mm -hmm. where we keep our, uh, our techies. Uh, we've now done over 11 million surveys in 58 countries all using the mobile internet to access these consumers. I'm really looking forward to it. It's got a fantastic lineup of speakers, a um, number of really respected and senior people uh, going to be there. So I am in a debate about apps versus um, uh, web for mobile um, surveys, where we're just going to um, uh, debate it with uh, Richard from CrowdLab, um, uh, who runs a, a mobile app uh, market research company. So um, the crux of the argument is that uh, neither is the ultimate solution. Um, both have a fantastic role um, to play in market research. Um, and so if you look at uh, mobile apps, uh, for example, they are fantastic for things like longitudinal studies where you need uh, the same person to do things again and again and again um, because uh, the, the usability can be a bit better. They also have um, uh, the ability to be able to access the native functionality of, a, of the device. So you can do things like uploading the uh, videos or photos. You can also do uh, quite clever location-based things like location-based targeting of people. So there's real um, exciting pros to being able to use mobile apps. Um, however, on the uh, flip side to that, not everybody has a smartphone. And so if you're going to try to um, gain access to consumers in uh, emerging markets and mobile only audiences of people, say for example in Indonesia or in Africa, or, or for that matter different demographics um, of lower income groups in, in the UK for example, then you'd find it very difficult to be able to get them to use um, a, a mobile app for taking a survey. There's also a practical reason for that as well, is that if you have three people who've decided that they want to take part in the study, because you have to get those people to download the app, you actually lose two of those people in that process. So you need three people to get every one person to take that survey in the app. So if you're doing a study of hard to reach people, then actually it's pretty tr tricky to, to gain those people to take the survey in the application.